Hey, hey, thanks for watching DD Core with my favorite groomer. We have Roxy here, and she has a special request groom. We're actually gonna leave a small mane, or actually, they said, actually, she sh they showed me pictures of a small mane, and I thought, man, it, it would look better more full. So we may do that, but they do want a, a very short summer cut. So we are gonna work on that right now. And she's a new client, so I've never I met them before. They've just moved to Texas, so we are gonna have fun with her and uh, they're pretty laid back uh, they do want it they did want the one-on-one -on -one experience so that's why they booked yeah 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 we can't wait let's get to work okay so here we go we're gonna leave a mane and do a short summer cut on this one border collie but short <laughs> hi 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 Roxy hmm? I'm gonna tighten this up just a tad you're okay we've got the dog upstand under her not that we need it but it's perfect right now okay and the haircut they showed me looks like a 10 down. I may or may not do that. I may go ahead and do a 7 reverse. So just a tiny bit tighter and shorter, and I prefer it over the 10 down, but either or. So you can do, let me just show you kind of the difference here. 10 7 reverse seems like it gets a lot more off. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving my main cut here. You know, I can see where the pattern was before. That's about right where I'm going to go. So this is my 10 down. And when you do a 7 reverse, it's a little bit more dangerous. You need to be watching what you're doing because this is easy to go down. But when you go reverse, you need to watch every skin flap and so forth. And then I'm going to do a... Swipe or two on the seven reverse. So you just can see, maybe if you can even see at all a difference, okay? So I'm gonna start back here, because you gotta start under the hair growth, like as far as the direction it's going, you need to start under that. So if there's any knots and matting, it's gonna be in the way, so you'll start here. So this is all a 10, right? Let's just see if we can just make that all kind of flow together. So now you remember the grain, the hair is growing this way and I'm cutting it at this angle versus the other way I'm cutting it at this straight down angle. So you're going to see, you can see right there, this is a prime example. So we got our, our 10 down is here. You can still see hair there, a little tiny bit more than here. This is 7 reverse. So it takes it a little tighter on the cut. And usually when you do a ten, 7 reverse, you don't even have to go back and do another haircut after the bath. It's like, if the lines are good. If the lines are good, you made the lines really nice and good, you barely just bathe dry. Sometimes you can air dry because it's just so close to drying already. It's gonna be a fast dry. But let's just say you're battling this one and you can try back and forth. At the end of the day, I'm gonna go back through with my seven reverse all the way around. Hello? Okay. It must be David putting that leash on. He must be struggling with that harness. And if you are struggling with getting the seven reverse, but you still want the seven reverse outcome, go ahead and do your 10 down. And then right before you go to the bath, go ahead and come back with your seven reverse, okay? Sometimes I've, I've done a real, real thick hair dog and it hasn't been shaved in forever then you got to get so get in there somehow and get all that hair out of the way before you can leave it's just a nice smooth layout okay all these areas i'm going to come back later with the dog up stand removed and also tin down I'm not going to leave the line here. I'm going to re remember to come back and I almost kept going, but I'm going to remember to come back with the guard and kind of blend that in. And uh, he said I could play with it, so I'm going to try a couple different things here. And then if you want to hold him, you can, but go ahead and get text mom and dad, mom and dad, mom and auntie you that. The pet is ready. If you want to bring him out and let him hang out with you, he, he usually hangs out in the real estate office, so. It's up to you, David. 
you know, high anxiety, right? Just try to help out where you can. Only only when we can, though. We can't have a bunch of dogs running around in here for safety. You never know what might happen. So here, you know how it's real thick right there and kind of matted? Go ahead and do your 10 down. That's what I mean. Like, if, it's, if your heart, if it's hard, you see right there, boom, get it out of the way. You'll come back later and set that seven reverse feel. Because it does feel different. It's much softer when you do the seven reverse when you go this way, when you're petting your dog. But if you go backwards, you can definitely feel that edge. Because now, you remember, you cut that edge a little different. If you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend a seven reverse, not until you've been grooming at least 200 dogs. Not unless you've groomed your first 200 or more. Then you can play with your seven reverses. Every dog wants to sit down. I don't know what you mean. Well, not every one out of a hundred will just kind of help you stand there. They know the routine. They want to stand there. Most of those, most of those dogs are big dogs. Like golden retrievers, man. This dog I used to groom, Annie. She would stand the whole time. When she got old enough, she couldn't stand. You could tell she was like she would, you know, like kind of sit but still stand. And I'm like, gosh, man, what a great dog. And she knows she wants to just stand up. You know what I mean? To leave the legs or not, you know what I mean? <laughs> to leave the tail or not. Should have gone live. You can just text the one, the multi, uh, the group message I'm in. So here, if you want to do some fading, play around with some fading here. You can start with your two guard a little bit, fade up. You're going to come back down with it too. Four guard reverse. I'll come back down with it. I'm gonna use my five blade, let me see if it's my five blade reverse. I'm gonna come back with my four reverse. Come back down.
And I'm honestly just playing with this because it doesn't need to be that big of a deal. I'm just letting you guys kind of see what you could do. The shifting back and forth though is throwing me off a little tiny bit because it keeps shifting. Very lightly, I'm trying to get that blended, you know. So while we were in absence changing our battery, I went ahead and uh, did the pads. We're back having the tin here. I need a full, uh, the cat needs to be alone. You need a full hour then? I need, no, not a full hour. I just need this dog going home or, you know what I'm saying? I just need to know what time it is. 11.30. Have her come at 12.30 or 12, 12.15. Just say exactly though, don't say don't come early. Don't come early, I'm working on a dog, but be here at 12.15. I'll come get you out of the car. I got the full dog up, the big dog up there because this dog is pretty heavy. It might be short, but heavy. And we'll, we'll keep on sitting down on me. With the small one. No, stand. This is not how I'm leaving that, by the way. I'm just, like I said. Stop, stop, stop. A lot of, uh, she's got her, so right there, you know, that's why the dog up stand is so important is that all that weight is on my hand while I'm trying to groom and hold her up at the same time. But unfortunately, I need to move it to get under the legs here. All the, her whole body is on my, my hand right there uh, because she's pushing down to sit. No, stand, stand. Uh, if you guys are having dogs, teach them to stand. <laughs> that would be the first thing I do with my dog is stand. <laughs> Stand. to just stand up, but it's just uh, the battle most groomers have. I, I know we do. I know we have that battle all day long. Don't 
จ้าEverything down to see if I want to kind of take it in stages here as far as going, taking in the whole arm or what. For your forehead, if you're right up there, I was like, My forehead, Dee Dee, watch out. See, if you skim with your seven, it's pretty faster than this, this trimming, and it will probably be more even, too. Not that you guys aren't pros at scissoring, by all means. I'm going to sh shape up just a tad, but I really like, if you're going to do a lion, you want to look like a lion, you know what I mean? So not something too shaped up, just nice, rounded up. It, obviously, you can even do this to make it more of that, where it's like very wild. You can do short here. That's called point tip, okay? Where you're taking off some, but you're keep, still leaving it jaggy wild looking okay okay let's um let's do the i'm up here anyway i'm also just trim the feet back i already did the pads while we were changing the battery trim all these down back to kind of work on some of this back here I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that like I said I'm pretty fast groomer and I'm not a pro, well, not professional uh, pro group like what is it called 
You know what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, see, sometimes I'm just thinking about so many things. I've got my seven down. Show groomer. I'm not a show groomer, okay? And that's okay. There's some of you guys are. By all means, do do you. There's show groomer channels. I know there is. If that's what you're looking for out there, you know? What I kind of don't want is that line right there, like a blunt line. So we did the line because I had to start at some point and now I'm just kind of fading it in a little bit so it blends a little better all the way out. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's not just a line there either though. So you're gonna have to learn your blades and you don't even need, I don't even think I really need to memorize my numbers. I just need to know which one goes where. And then you're gonna go backwards and forwards based off of the, the numbers. This is a five reverse now, five blade reverse. Cause there isn't such a thing as a five bar. So you kind of know where your numbers are. It doesn't matter what color they are either. Cause you, they come in all kinds of colors. Some might not match mine exactly. Some colors, numbers might not match my colors. You just gotta know your numbers when I call it out. If I'm using a guard, I'm using a guard. If I'm using a blade, I'm using a blade. So the difference between guard and blades is that you're gonna pull your blade out if I call it a five blade. You're gonna pull your five guard out if I'm calling a guard, okay? A guard is a snap-on situation or a clip-on. And then every time I'm going down to my guards, I'm gonna put a 10 on. I, that's just what I do. You guys are welcome to do whatever you want out there. I know some of you tell me you use a 15 and a 30 blade on when you use a guard. I don't. See, all day long it's fine. Still doing the job I needed to do. I got my two guard reverse now. I'm kind of just fading that some more. And every situation is different, so right now we're going to kind of do, excuse me. So these lines here are just kind of wrinkles in the skin. So I'm going to move some of these lines with the hair and see if that helps. Get a little of that undercoat out, even though you already did a haircut. Still going to have undercoat. It'll actually help blend in those lines that didn't work out for you in some areas, so do that. Now we're gonna take this mane and we're actually gonna brush it out really good. Okay, just making sure there's no knots and tangles. Especially behind the ears where a lot of mats kind of build up there. Check there with your comb. If you get me on the phone and you're like telling me your dog's real hairy and all this and I say, can you get a comb through the hair? This is getting a comb through the hair from the skin out all the way out. Can you get that comb through there? Uh, 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 and that will be a no. So we can get the comb through here. No knots, mattedness. But the brush, it does all your work. Draw that line, pull it down, keep going. Make sure you get every hair through your brush. And 
And the lion cut was requested on the phone before they even came in. So they were like, can you do this for us? Would you mind doing this for us? Do you have a problem doing this for us? This is what we're used to. And they sent me a picture. So this is what they want. And it looks great. Not everyone wants to do that. That's fine. This is their dog. Okay, I'll just make that clear. This is not your dog. This is their dog. You don't like a mane, don't do a mane. Right? Right, Roxy? I'm gonna do some leave-in conditioner now, anyway. look on her face. I'm going to watch myself when it comes to, which I'm not there yet, but I'm going to watch myself when it comes to doing the nails. She has a specific look that I see and also a, uh, just an energy when I was messing with her feet earlier. So you never know. You never know about it. Just have your guard up. Excuse me, I burped. Is that the parents? What? Why are you barking at me? Jackson? <sighs> the battle of sit down, stand up. I'm telling you, man. It's alive and well. Stand up. Here. If you guys have this issue or your groomer tells you he doesn't want to stand up, she doesn't want to stand up, work on it at home, man. It will really help. Treats and the word stand up and, and getting them to stand up while the, you know, five minutes at a time. It will really help. No, 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 we're not, we're not keep sitting down. Okay, we're messing with the tail. I still haven't decided to shave it down or not. What you do? What do you want me to do? I don't know what you're wrong. So you guys know in most of my videos, I, I think 99.9% .9 I'm always using my large virtual brush. I sell the small one. That would be for toys, I would think. Because honestly, the more brush you have, the larger space you're gonna brush. You want a smaller brush, you're gonna be brushing twice as much or three times as longer. So if you, even if you have a small dog, you see when I'm doing those Maltesis sales, I'm still using the same large bristle brush. So if you want a kit, go to my website, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop, go to kits. The brush comb, flea comb set is there. The flea comb is great for cleaning eye boogers out of dogs. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you're missing a whole bunch of videos. So please go binge watch backwards and you'll understand why the tools that I use are pretty essential. And if you have the, a few of the right tools, you'll be able to do obviously a lot of work. I use the same set of tools almost every pet. Sometimes I use different tools, like I'm about to pull out, this is my V-Mat breaker. I'm about to pull out this tool. These ones are pretty expensive. If you need something like this, it's for those longer hair dogs, like this tail is really long, but knotted inside in the, real close to the skin. It's gonna bring all that out. I oh, like this one. You're not gonna use it very often. It, you would have to ask me about it and I would have it for sale for you. Does that make sense? You're just pushing to want to sit down so bad, man. That's what it is. This is not a very long process. Your groom's actually pretty fast, Roxy. Potentially could be very fast groom here.
Stop. Stop. See how the nails go here. We'll try the back ones first. Look at that look right there. Okay, what are you doing and why? Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. Not bad, not bad at all. No, 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 Dan. No, let me see. No, let me see. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. No, you're good. All right, here we go. We're just going to touch up some stuff here. Make it all nice and even and faded. Fade it well. We're going to go start with our seven reverse again back here. And real lightly skim up. You're going to have some discoloration just because of the color. I can see it. There's lots of different black shades. Different shades of black there. Five blade.
my one guard. Like four guard here. You guys catch her some of this. Even conditioner is so amazing. If you need to buy some, we can sell them in in our online store at myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. We sell a lot of those spray bottles too. They're amazing. So soft, like we're immediately soft and not oily. It's very crisp, clear, and soft. I'm standing the dog up, right? We're almost done. <laughs> We're almost done. No. Stand up. Yeah. 